Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is KPZ, you are here on the home of the Slightly Above Average Ship Review. Got a match for you today, going up the German Tech Tree Destroyer Line. We're in the Tier 5 Ernst Gata. That's what they call it on uh, PC, Ernst Gata, named after some guy. Probably Guidi, maybe pronouncing the name wrong. Anyway... Uh, we're on Trident, we're in a domination match, the position of a and I've got target. a great match for you today in this ship, however you pronounce the name. Really quickly, allegedly a design of the Type 1934 destroyers, like a variant or something that they never made, from World of Warships Reddit, who is Ernst Gade or Gaida or whatever, in a nutshell, he was the artillery officer aboard SMS Emden, who died after getting wounded three times while making a heroic last stand, literally fighting to the last shell from the last remaining gun in the battle against HMAS Sydney. So that is this ship, but I can't find any record of it anywhere in my Google searching other than this game and World of Warships. So, whether or not it actually existed or not, who knows? Who knows? But it's a good ship. You have a choice, which is kind of rare, of which caliber artillery you want to mount on the ship. You got 128s, which you are, you'll see interspersed throughout the German destroyers. T61 is 138s. You also got a choice of those 150 millimeter cruiser caliber guns as we get a solo base cap. And we're spotted by a Mahan. And we're gonna light him up here in. Now I'm self conscious. Now I guess I'm gonna have to call it the gate because I think the other name is not right. All right, he's torping all over the place. We are shooting, we're reversing, we hit our speed boost to help us back up quicker. Meanwhile, off screen, get some torpedo strikes on presumably a hapless enemy battleship. We dodge, we've got our sonar going on, so we can plink and plunk away here at the Mahan with little hope of retribution on his part. Cause he blew his wad with those torpedoes. Really, I think he should be pushing in towards me at this point. I mean, you know, what else can you do? Set him on fire, and we're going to just come around a little bit of the island he's hiding behind here, and eventually we are going to take him out. Uh, still burning. Still burning. All right. Right in time for him to damage Khan. We're going to take him out. All right, there we go. All right, I think the ship that we torpedoed was killed by someone else uh, because we whittled them down to nothing. So that's no longer something we're going to get involved with because he's dead. But we've got a Britannia right there and a New York over here. We will send torpedoes at both of them because I am greedy and I want to kill everything. Uh, meanwhile, looking up at the scoreboard, our team is up by one ship. And with these German ships, you know, they don't have the best concealability, but it could be worse. You know, the really advantageous thing is that the commander that I use on the Tier 5 and up Tech Tree Destroyers is Erich Bai, and he has concealment as his base trait. So you don't have to do a double concealment build in terms of your inspirations. Although you could. You certainly could. You could put uh, Swirsky and Deng Shi Chang. I, I don't do that, and I wouldn't do that. I would put William Sims as an inspiration, which we do here, simply because these ships, I think, at Tier 5 and up, trend more to a gun bias rather than the lower tier ships, which have a torpedo bias. So your mileage may vary on all that, but because it is a gun bias, I put Sims on there for extra hit points. So this tier, we should be getting five times 400, 2000, 
extra hit points. Whether that's actually true or not, who knows. But we're torping again at the Britannia. And we're going behind the island here um, because I kind of have to to maintain distance from the sky. And we'll send more torpedoes and then we're going to go around the the island here. Usually back here is where the aircraft carrier hides, although that is not occurring today. Anyway, a couple torpedo strikes and we finish off the Britannia. Now we're moving on to the New York. And I got to tell you, we are going to wail away with these guns at the New York. And maybe it will convince some people to run the 150s on here. Maybe it won't. You know, at the end of the day, I just found it this tier at tier 5. The reload of the 150s, which around 6.9 seconds with my build, was just too long for me to go for that. The DPM was not there. That being said, there are some other ships in this tech tree line you don't get to choose. And you do get the 150s, so you're going to have to learn to live with that. Here, we're just going to start gunboating. The New York, he's a down tier battleship. He's shooting at someone else. We get to shoot with impunity. And so we are going to do that. And I've got a smoke screen in my back pocket if he decides to start shooting at me. We will send some torpedoes his way and continue to fire at him with these 128 millimeter guns. As you can see, they've got really nice ballistics at this four kilometer, five kilometer range. Arcing in beautifully to hit the superstructure, and I'm sure create any fires. Um, and it doesn't hurt that although he hit us, he didn't hit us particularly hard. So those hit points coming in handy. So we won't even use the smoke screen because he's turning away. Because we're forcing him to turn away. And remember I talked about turning against your turrets from time to time. He just turned against his turrets. We're on the starboard uh, the we were on the starboard side of his ship. His guns were aimed to starboard. Then he turned all the way around to port, and by doing so, his guns have to traverse all the way around to get back to aim at us. This is what I call turning against your turrets. And you should never do this. Now he did it presumably because he is worried about some other ship, but I'm the closest, most dangerous ship to him. And in my opinion, that was a mistake on his part. And he's shooting at another destroyer much farther away. This doesn't make sense to me. I don't think that commander should have been doing that. He should have kept his eyes on me. And he probably could have taken me out. Uh, he does take the other destroyer out, the Genevni. And now he is turning again, presumably to turn back and get his turrets aimed towards me. We are dodging, we set him on fire, we're gonna jam on the brakes, and we're gonna hit that smoke screen, and we're gonna torp out. He dodges the first set of torps, but now because he's spotted by our teammate, we can farm damage with HE, and we can wait to see what these torpedoes do. Meanwhile, off screen, his teammates are shooting, he's shooting, and he's totally whiffing because we're moving inside of our smoke screen. Anyway, couple of torpedo strikes, only needed the first one. Finish off the New York for our third kill. And it's tied three to three. We're down. Uh, are we down? No, we're not down. We're ahead on points. We have a cap, they have a cap. Uh, apparently, is that a teammate ship? No. All right, that, some of the icons for these detection circles Make me think they're ships sometimes when I'm reviewing these videos. All right, there is the Furious. I don't know how he got damaged, but I intend to do some damage. We got this armor piercing loaded. Maybe this is where that 150 millimeter armor piercing would have been really nice to have. Kind of hunting for a citadel here. Can't really find it. So I think in a minute we're going to switch to high explosive. <clears throat> okay, I lied. I guess we're just going to keep trying to shoot at him and not aim very well. I, I want to say the Citadel, I believe, is in the rear of the ship. And waterline shooting should get it, but we are not getting it at all. 
And as you can see, we're getting every type of reaction when we shoot. We're getting some pens, we're getting some ricochets, we're getting some overpens, we're getting some armor belts, we're getting shatters, we're getting everything. So he is near death. Just to be safe, we'll launch one set of torpedoes. His secondaries are somewhat effective. And we'll light him up into the flight deck one more time with the HE. And there goeth the carrier. All right. We have three ships. The enemy just has one ship left. Shot down a couple of airplanes. We are moving into Charlie Cap. And we're going to try to flip the Charlie Cap. There's the Bayern. We will deal with him in a minute. So this is a very well-rounded destroyer. You saw everything in this match. Torpedoes, gunboating, using our sonar, smokescreen, farming damage. Taking out different kinds of ships. It is a very well-rounded destroyer. Whether you choose to mount the 128s or the 150s is kind of up to you. But right about here I say, you know what's not up to me? Getting this Kraken. So the Bayern takes out the Mackinson. And I'm like, you know what? Forget this cap flipping business. I'm going to go get the Kraken here. Because I can you know, Mackinson had his opportunity to take out the Bayern. He failed. And so let's go over here and get the Kraken and, and further solidify that this is a really good ship. All right. Got my torpedoes reloaded. Got my guns aimed. Want to stay out of detection range. As you can see, our detection 5.4. He is 5.8 away at the moment. We'll give a very close... Uh, dump of the torpedoes because he is stern away from us I guess not really doing a whole lot of movement and we're going to just try to stay out of detection range and we'll let him get it we will let him get that and he will be wondering where I am and probably right about now he started to see my torpedoes so he's turning away but by giving him the overlapping spread, he cannot get away. One torpedo strike, high caliber metal, two torpedo strikes. And then we will light him up with the guns. His main battery is nowhere near us, not aimed towards us. And eventually here, well, all right, maybe it was aimed towards us. <laughs> Take a little bit of damage, but we set him on fire, and that's all we needed to do. There it is. Kraken Unleashed. Yes, that's how you finish that off, folks. All right, here we are on my favorite screen, the victory screen. Confederate metal, high caliber metal, and, of course, the Kraken Unleashed. 109,659 damage. Bunch of main battery hits, seven torpedo strikes, five big kills, and a solo base cap. We ended up with 294,426 silver and 6461 ship XP and commander XP in the Ernst Gade. I guess we'll call it Gade. Ernst Gade. Someone from Germany, please come along and tell me how poorly I pronounced his name. Uh, but it's a good chip. There we are at the top of the board. 2871 base XP, three medals, five big kills. The Bayern was trying hard for his team, but he was not good enough. The Serov didn't contribute to the battle. Very disappointing, Mr. Serov. Very, very disappointing. All right, let's go back to the port and take a look at the ship in terms of the modifications. Aiming System Mod 1, and Propulsion Mod 2. It is not a fully upgraded destroyer because we demounted the 150 millimeter artillery. You can see lengthier reload, much more damage, a lot better fire setting chance, but at the end of the day, the DPM made me demount this. Your mileage may vary on your ship. But... I left it demounted. 
All right. Um, blah, blah, blah. I don't, I don't think I need to stay on that screen that long. All right. Moving on to the loadout. Two charges of the smoke generator. Two charges of the engine boost. And two charges of the sonar. It is four kilometer for enemy ships. So keep that in mind when you deploy this consumable. We're running the rare battle booster because we got four consumables. The standard permanent camouflage and the early adopter flag. Moving on to the stats, 18,500 hit points with our build. Got those four 128mm guns, 10.2 kilometer firing range, 4.7 second reload, 15.7 second churn time, HE shells, 1,500 max damage with a 6% fire chance, armor piercing shells, 3,000 max damage. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Torpedoes, two quad launchers, reload every 90 seconds, max damage 13,700, 8 kilometer range at 65 knots, the detectability is 1,300 meters. AA defense, it's not great. Your main battery is not dual purpose. Um... And the best AA doesn't start until 2 kilometers. Max speed, 37.1 knots, 690 meter turning circle, 4.4 second rudder shift time, so not that fast, not that maneuverable. Concealment, 5.4 on the surface, 3 kilometers flat from the air, 3.4 when firing in a, or sorry, 2.4 when firing in a smoke screen. So, uh, you know, we sacrifice a little bit of concealment for the extra points. Here's our commander build. Shifty, best base trait for a destroyer. Uh, Sa Jin Bing as our other inspiration besides Billy Sims. Observant Rage in row one. Look at me now in row two. Pers uh, twist and Track in row three. Smoke on the Water in row four. Legendary Skill, Unstoppable. That is how I build out the Ernst Gade. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button. It's a crack and hit the like button anyway.